Hey guys, I want to make a video on auditing your actions over 90 days and this is just going to be on the macro level. I might go further into you know the micro aspects of it but I just want to keep it macro for this and I'm going to keep it in the scope of World Global Network. Now let's take it that you're a complete newbie. You just started network marketing, you just started sales, you're just learning about these products, you're learning about the compensation plan, you're getting word from your upline, you're getting all this stuff, it's so much information. Then you have your life, you may have a family, you may have kids, you may have a job, you may have bills, you may have school, you may have all these different things and you have to try to fit that in. You know, and then you have personal development because there's certain things you don't know that you need to learn. You have all this stuff that you're moving into your life and it can get overwhelming and it can get discouraging if you don't feel like you're making progress. So this is what I do. I, you know, I started my, you know, I've been in since January, towards the end of January. It was kind of, you know, there's gonna be a little hobby thing, I'm gonna do that. Then I learned more and I was like, oh wow, this is awesome. So I'm gonna start my 90 day, I'm gonna set my goals in March and I'm gonna look at it 90 days. So basically from the beginning of March, it was make a video every day, build the site, learn from the leaders of the team exactly what they're doing to put it into the team site so we can help with the duplication and things like that. Now for even further into the scope of me specifically, it's creating content, generating leads, reaching out to my contacts. So besides that I work a full-time job and I have another business on the side, I have to fit in every single day to make videos and work on World Global. So I make sure I do a video every day, I go to sleep, I do my personal development, I do all this stuff, but I know I'm gonna continue these things. I made, you know, my goal was initially March, make videos, and then April and May, continue to make videos, but focus more on building the team site, working on my downline, building my business. So I've laid out goals as far as what I'm gonna do on a daily basis from going to work, making videos, building a team site, building my website, doing personal development, reaching out to contacts, doing all these things. I, I make sure I put effort at, you know, some of the things are every day, some of the things are every other day, some things are on the weekends, etc., etc. It's so cumbersome, but I try to track all that information once a week, just, you know, spend a little time thinking about all my interaction, maybe put some notes on it. And then after 90 days, after all this is done, so at the end of the May, I'm gonna look at all this stuff, the notes I've taken, all those things. I'm gonna run analytics on my video, run analytics on the team site, my blog. I'm gonna see where all the traffic is going, what's giving me the best results as far as, let's say, contacting. Maybe I just read, um, was it, I got from one of my downline, he recommended a book, The Millionaire Next Door. So I'm gonna put that into my rotation and see if I can come up with anything from that book. Or, you know, I'm reading, um, what is the book? Uh, the Crowd by Gustav Le Bon. That's gonna be my next book I'm reading in. Uh, Tools of Titans from Tim Ferriss. I read that on the weekends. I'm going to try to take all those things and incorporate it, but after my 90 days, I'm gonna look at everything I've done and then see what's yielding me the result. And you know, that's typically in the scope of World Global Network, aside from my businesses and sales I make, is what's gonna get me the most traffic, what's gonna get me enrollments, and what's gonna get me people that are ready to either build the business or find a use for the product. So I'm gonna work out what's getting me the most yield over those 90 days, and then I'm gonna work my next 90 days to alter my goals and focus on that. And the thing is, the more notes you can take, the more information you can gather, the more analytics, the more things you can gather within the time that you're building, it's very easy to then not get discouraged because then you know, hey, I'm just gonna try everything I can, I'm gonna take the load that I can afford to take, that I can mentally handle, that I can physically handle, so I don't get overloaded and feel discouraged, and after 90 days, I'm gonna look at everything and I'm gonna see what works and what doesn't work. And that allows you to accept failure, where you do things wrong, because then you say, you know what, I learned that I did those things incorrectly, so I'm gonna take that out of my game. So then you can in turn be like, okay, you know what, I'm really good at this aspect of doing things, and I can maybe push some things on my upline to help me out that I'm not so strong on that maybe I wanna work on in the future, or maybe I'm just not good at it at all. But it allows you after your 90 days to actually see where your effort is being put into and yielding you the results that you want. Because if you're doing things over and over again that don't you yield you the results that you want, you're gonna be running the same patterns, the same failures and everything like that. And if you're gonna get discouraged and you might not be in the business or you might just be in the business and not do well forever. And that's not what, you know, obviously anybody wants you to do. That's not what you want. You wanna be successful. You wanna set your goals for yourself when you reach those goals. But if you keep running the same circles and you don't sit back and look at your progress and try to, you know, take that data, you're bound to basically make the same mistakes. So 
it's really about you know setting an initial plan for yourself and say you know what, over the next day 90 days I'm gonna run this plan I'm gonna do these things so either I'm gonna learn the compensation plan like the back of my head hand I'm gonna read personal development book every single week I'm going to contact two or three people every day I'm going to build up my Instagram I'm gonna build up my YouTube I'm going to redo my social media account and test out different types of posts you're gonna do all those things for over 90 days and then after the 90 days you're gonna look at everything you've done and really just brainstorm to be like what yielded me the best results what yielded me the most headache what caused me to fail what caused me to succeed then you can take your 90 days and be like wow I started off over here over here you can't see my hand let's say over here now I'm over here okay but I have this to trial me back and then this is what's lifting me up so you know what let's take the drawback stuff get rid of it take the lifting up stuff and add more of it for the next 90 days and then you can introduce new stuff that you said you know what I'm really interested in this part let's take the stuff that was working for me add in the new stuff and see if I can do that and then you just repeat the cycle the cycle cycle over and over again then you look at it you really have four times a year where you're really looking inwards you're you're basically auditing yourself you're putting things in to make yourself better and that's where you become the entrepreneur mindset that's where entrepreneurs succeed that's where management comes in because then you look at the things that really work and you make them more efficient and you get rid of your weaknesses and when you get rid of your or you might have weaknesses that you say you know what I can fix I can work on and you work on those weaknesses and you make them strong so it's all these different variables that come in and it allows you over time to get better and better and better and this for me has been you know pretty I've taken these examples from working in aviation with the quality control industry a quality control aspect of it but also in building online making videos selling products I've really worked into that like um, I'll go back to let's say my products like I recently had probably what in the mid last year I had over 140 items so I went back over it and just over and over again chop and chop and chop and chop and now I have 34 items I'm at the point where I have 34 items that just sell I don't have to worry about it they move out the door and I just don't even have to worry about it anymore now that the kilo is introduced now I've you know you see my other videos I've dug into the germanium I've dug into the PPG I've dug into the sensors I've dug into the processor I've dug into all those different aspects because then now when I go explain the product to somebody my game is going to be on point because I do like those type of things I do like making an argument I do like all those aspects and as I'm doing that as I'm talking to more and more people I look at the parts of what I'm talking about that attracts more people because at the end of the day this product is about them it's not about you you might have certain things that you like the product for and that's fine and dandy but if you don't worry about what other people want you're not gonna bring them on board so that's something for me that I know I have to work on that's a strength that I have to build up I'm really good at getting people to my content looking at it converting them that way but when I have the one-on-one -on -one, I know I really need to know my product back and forth but I also need to know what about the product and listen to those people is gonna work from them and then every 90 days I can go back and I can ask myself did I really listen to people Did I really work with them did I really find out what this specific contact want what this specific person want and then I just roll over roll over roll over and that's an example of somewhere where I was weak where I'm building strength for so other videos it's probably gonna be a long presentation so other videos I might break it out to a several part series whatever I'm gonna really work into the 90 days and on the micro and the macro level and all those different types of things but you know just enacting a 90 day plan to be able to audit and review all of your actions from your initial goals that you set whether it's daily weekly monthly goals to have a time to review and look at the efficacy and the efficiency of those goals is gonna be something that you're not gonna regret and I suggest you taking a look at it and giving it at least a shot over in the next 90 days so I hope this you know rant and everything about the 90 days gave you some great information you can put in your mind and some good info so beyond that you guys know the deal like share subscribe links are down below I love your faces have a great day